This demo shows how to use the ODBC Verify and SQL to Record Set actions in Worksoft Certify to acquire a value from a certified database and use it in a certified process. This allows you to read and verify a value in your certified database without going through SQL Server Management Studio. To do this, you will need to know how to write a SQL query and create a process in Worksoft Certify. First, we will set up our ODBC data source. There's a helpful knowledge base article on the Worksoft customer portal that can step you through this process. First, I select Add, SQL Server. In this example, I'm going to use the same name and description as my certified database server. I'm going to select SQL Server Authentication and give my SQL Server credentials. I change the default database to my certified database. I leave this screen as it is and select Finish. Select Test Data Source and the test will complete successfully. Now let's set up a process in Worksoft Certify to acquire and write the value from our certified database. In this example, I'm using a relatively new certified database. I'm going to set an execution flow rule to write a record to the exception handler table in my certified database. To do this, I come down to the execution flow rules, I select add, I select new execution flow rule and I give it a name and an action. I've already created it here as my test, skip record and start at first step. Now when I save this rule, Certify will write a record to the exception handler table on my certified database. Now I build my process. All the actions here are using the Worksoft Certify system interface. The first action is database verify for the ODBC data object. This action follows the same narrative as a SQL query. Select name from exception handler, where exception handler ID equals one. For verify value, I'm using a simple text variable I created just for this process. Now I give my ODBC connection details, and I set the criteria to is equal to. The next action, I'm using the SQL to record set action for the record set object. This follows the same narrative as our SQL query. I say select name from exception handler, where exception handler ID equals one. I give my ODBC connection credentials. I save it to a record set in my certified database. And I leave the rest of the options as default. I'm going to use a text compare action to verify that the value I have in my variable is the same as the value I set in my exception handler rule, which is my test. Then I'm going to use the operating system execute application action to launch Notepad, and then the send keys action to send the value from my variable into Notepad. Let's run the process. Now Certify has gone and verified that the value it retrieved from the database was the same as the one I had specified in my variable. The SQL to record set action took the value from the exception handler table and wrote it to a record set. My text compare step verified that the value in my variable was the same as the value it retrieved. And then Certify wrote the value from the variable into Notepad. I have SQL Server Management Studio pulled up here to show that the value in the exception handler table is the same as the one I set in the exception handler flow rule. Thank you for watching. This concludes the demo for using the ODBC Verify and SQL to Record Set actions in Worksoft Certify.